Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Mm -hmm. Good evening, hello. Okay, guys, so um, welcome to every one of you, the ones that are already here. Thank you so much for being always on time. Uh, well, that's 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 perfect. So good evening to you all. I hope that you had a great day. I understand that probably some of you work during the day. So I know that this is a big effort sometimes to be here in the class. So thank you so much for that too. So we're going to start today, guys. It's already time for us to start, but, but as I usually do, I am going to ask you questions regarding to the last or the previous topic. So that's what we're going to do today. So also another thing that I wanted to tell you is that, but well, first of all, I would like to know if you all can listen to me clearly. Can you listen to me clear? Yes, teacher. Perfect, thank you very yes, much. Yes, teacher. All right, thank you. So uh, before we start, let me tell you that we have class today because as you remember, when we supposed to start classes on Monday, but because of the hurricane that we had in El Salvador or the storms that we had, we started on Tuesday. So that's the reason why we are going to have classes just for today. But next week, we are only going to have classes from Monday through Thursday, okay? Not Friday. This is the only Friday when we are going to have classes. Just keeping that in mind. All right, so I'm going to ask you questions, guys, regarding to the last topic or the topic that we saw yesterday. And also today, we are going to have a practice so I hope that you paid attention yesterday because this practice is going to be related to what we saw yesterday, okay? So uh, yesterday, what can you tell me about yesterday's class? Can someone give me an opinion about yesterday's class? What was yesterday's class about? Good evening, teacher. The topic, the topic that just said that is WH questions. WH questions, yes, of course. Okay, so what do we do with the WH questions? What are the WH questions that we have in English? Can someone tell me? Where, teacher. when, why, where, when, why? okay. Whose? Okay. How? How? Okay. Which? Which? Thank you very much, Cecilia. Uh, Why? What else? I'm sorry. Why? Why? All right. So we... thank you very much for participating, guys. Now, the practice. What is the practice going to be about? De qué se va a tratar la práctica? Do you guys have pen and pencil with you? Mm -hmm. Si tienen papel y lápiz con ustedes? Yes, teacher. All right, so I need everyone to have pen and pencils with you because we are going to work today in a practice. So the practice is going to be about yesterday's class. La práctica va a ser eh, tomada de la práctica de la clase de ayer, okay? So uh, what is going to be about? It's going to be, for example, that I'm going to tell you the answer of a question and with the answer I'm going to give you, you will have to create or you will have to guess the question. Is it clear? Teacher, I don't understand. You didn't understand, no? All right, so, what I'm saying is, for example, I'm going to give you the answer, an answer, okay? That answer, you will have to listen to the answer and based on the answer I will give you, you will create the question that fits better 
on the answer. Okay, that's right. It's clear? For me? Yes. Yeah. What did I say, Inger? Can you tell me what did I say? Usted nos va a dar la, usted nos va a dar la respuesta uh -huh. y nosotros tenemos que hacer la mejor pregunta. Uh -huh. uh, something like that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sounds like that. Okay, yes. Not really. No. Yes. Yeah, it can be anything. Puede ser cualquiera. Lo que voy a necesitar es que ustedes escriban, por ejemplo, yo les doy la respuesta y ustedes pensar, estados en la respuesta, cuál pregunta es la mejor, obviamente, utilizando WH questions, okay? We are going to do a maximum of 10. Si vamos a hacer un máximo de 5, si de repente veo, well, 5, sí. Si de repente veo que algunos no están entendiendo y de repente los veo perdidos, vamos a hacer 10. So it's up to you. Ok. So, ¿qué necesito después de esto? Todos en el momento que lo terminemos, toman una captura a su página donde van a estar trabajando y automáticamente después de terminar un minuto más tarde envían fotografía al grupo de WhatsApp. Si usted me la envía después y me dice no, teacher, que no sé qué, notifíquelo antes, porque eso significa que se quedó arreglando alguna por ahí, ¿verdad? Que se le escapó. ¿Sí? So, un minuto para enviarla luego que terminamos. Are we clear? Estamos claros. Yes, teacher. All right. So we start. If you're ready or not, we start. Okay. So let me just get here. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's start. Number one, it is I am happy because today is Friday. I am happy because today is Friday. I will repeat only three times. Okay, okay. I am happy. I get, excuse me, again. Okay. I, I am, am happy because today is Friday. Because it's Friday. Mm -hmm. Friday. Because today is it, it is not it is not necessary for you to write everything. Remember, oh, okay. you just have to okay. write the question, not the oh, answer. Yeah. okay. This is the answer. Okay. So that's okay. number one. So let's go to number two and let's see how it goes. Two is going to be. I answer is for me only the one. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not understanding what you're trying to say. The answer the question the answer is only in the one for me or the all the the, the answer. No, I mean. Solamente esta va a ser mía o o o todas las demás. No, all this is this is a, a this is a practice for everyone. Esta es práctica para todos. Oh, okay, okay. Todos, everyone. So no. Okay, I'm sorry, teacher. Eh, entiendo que se va a copiar solo la oración que se está dictando. No, no, no. No. It's... Okay, let let me give you. Según la respuesta que está haciendo. Okay, let me give you the instructions again. So pay attention. Se trata de lo siguiente. Lo que yo estoy diciendo ahorita es la respuesta a una pregunta. ¿Cuál es esa pregunta? Lo que necesito es que ustedes, basados en lo que escuchen que yo digo, crear una pregunta basado en lo que ustedes escuchan que estoy diciendo. Y solo van a escribir en su página la pregunta, no la respuesta, solo la pregunta. Is clear? Yes, teacher. All right. So let's go to number two then. Number two. It is. 
I am very happy. And you? I am very happy. And you? I am very happy. And you? I repeated it three times. So, Iris, are you going to say something? Yeah, I I can or I gain. Uh, uh, I don't understand. I, I get very happy. No, and no, no. You. I am very happy, and you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, because my son is talking me. He, uh, on. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I understand. I understand. No, it's fine. Yeah, okay. It's fine. So let's go to number three. I will, I will ask you guys, hacen saber cuando terminen y así puedo continuar. Okay. Are we done with number two? Okay. Thank you so much for the hands, for the thumbs up. Carlos, uh, who else is ready? Listos para el número tres. Ready for number three? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go with number three. Mm. She is my best friend. She is my best friend. She is my best friend. Let me know when you're finished so I can I can know that you that you're done. Okay, Carlos, thank you very much. Or if you have your camera on, you can just do that so I can understand. Okay, Noemi, Ingrid, thank you. Okay, I think that we're done. So let's move on to number four. The party is at 7 p.m. 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 Teacher, buenas noches. Ah, lo que yes. sucede es que no he llegado a mi casa todavía. Eh, voy escribiendo las preguntas aquí en, el, en, un, en unas notas, pero, pero estoy por llegar a unas tres, cuatro cuadras de mi casa. It's okay, Boris. Por eso, thank, you for, thank you for letting me know. Gracias por hacérmelo saber. So that, sí. That's fine. Gracias. Okay. ¿Alguien más tiene alguna situación similar a la de Boris para... Tomar eso en consideración. Teacher, I'm sorry I came home a few weeks ago and I don't understand what are you doing. We're doing a practice uh, related to WH questions that we saw yesterday. This practice is about I tell you the answer and you will have to guess what is the question and you will have to write it down on a page. Then, after we finished, you take a picture of the page and send it directly to the WhatsApp group. Teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yes, Mike. Repeat the, repeat the first question. Answer, please. The first answer. Yes, please. Is not possible, Maida. I'm very sorry, but it's not possible. Why? Because it is a practice and if you didn't get it, it's okay. Si no la pudiste obtener, no te preocupes. It's fine. Por eso es que vamos a hacer esta práctica para ver 
cuántas pueden lograr obtener. Ok. Thank you. All right, so let's move on to number five. Number five, it is, uh, let me see. I am at my mother's house. 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 Daisy, yes. Okay, Daisy. Uh, okay, it, it's okay, Daisy. Don't worry about it. Are we, are we done? Is it okay if we continue? Okay, now let's go to number six. Porque veo ahí caras dudosas todavía, vamos a hacer diez, okay? So let's go with number six. I am from Guatemala. I am from Guatemala. I am from Guatemala. I am from Guatemala. Teacher. In, okay, thank you, Carlos. Los que no tienen su cámara encendida, espero que no estén copiando, right? Que sean honestos. Honesty with yourselves. Honestidad con ustedes mismos. Because, I mean, if you're using Google or if you're using something else, at the end, the situation or the problem is going to be for you. Because you sure. do that with honesty, yes, Melvin. Really? Yes. Okay. Okay, you can send the next five later on. That's not a problem. All right, let's go with number seven then. Let's go with number seven. Number seven, I am doing my homework. 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 Okay, thank you, Noemi. Are you guys done? Is it okay now if we move on? Okay, let's move on to number eight. Number eight, it is, let me see. It's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. That was really easy. That one was really easy. Estaba regalada, vea. So you have to get it correct. So let me see another one. Mm, let me see. My name is Nelson. My name is Nelson. My name is Nelson. My name is Nelson. Are we done with that one? 
It's okay, Maritza. I understand that. Thank you so much for letting me know, okay? So let's move on to number nine. Number nine. I live in Usulutan. I live in Usulutan. I live in Usulutan. I live in Usulutan. Con esa eran diez, teacher. Is ten? Do we have ten already? Yes. That's it then. So now you have one minute, the most for you to send your picture to the WhatsApp group. So we are 20. Eh, somos 20 menos Boris, menos Edith, menos Maritza. So we are 16, I guess, or 17. So I will, I will have to receive 17 or 16 photos in one minute. Okay, I started receiving some, let me check. All right. All right, I can see some of you. All right, thank you very much. It would have been a great idea if you can tell me who you are, si le pudieran agregar quién son, porque it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to understand who you are. Because some of you do not have your name on the, on the WhatsApp, so uh, I really don't know. Okay, it I been. All right, cool. Thank you. Okay, Carlos, you can see it. Um, and my name is James. Yeah, I saw it there. Thank you very much for that. All right, so I... Teacher. I Yes. I came late, so I missed the first two uh, sentences. Yeah, it, that's fine. I know that. I know that because I saw when you connected. So that's not a problem. All right. So I, I, I'm still receiving some others. So thank you very much. All right. Yes, I get them. Perfect. So thank you very much, guys. After Later after the class, I'm going to check them all. And we are going to see how you did. Vamos a ver qué tan bien les fue, okay? So um, thank you very much, everyone, for participating and for sending your picture through the WhatsApp group. The minute is over. So uh, from now on, if you're having any situation, just let me, let me know. Es a partir de ahorita, se cerró, okay? You should have sent it already. Okay, so let me see. All right, so guys, for today, we're going to continue with one that we couldn't see yesterday, which was. Teacher, I'm sorry, me, me, me okay. interesa malo está en la, en, en la. No, it's, it's fine. I saw you already, so that's, that's fine. Okay, it's, it's okay. I understand that sometimes the internet doesn't want to help us. That's fine. So what I was saying, guys, is that today we're going to continue with what we left yesterday. Yesterday, we saw WH question why, WH question who, who's, uh, when, where, what, and who. So uh, today, or yesterday, we left one which is very important and has a variety of uh, of some others when we put some other words next to it. Today, we're going to focus on how. We're going to focus on how, and we are going to see how we do or how many differences we have when we each question how. And as you can notice, even though we talk about questions, the word how, it doesn't start with the WH. 
it 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 actually starts o but in english how is still taken into consideration as part of the wh questions even though it doesn't start with the wh okay so let's see and just let me show you so you can have an idea of what i'm talking about Yesterday we didn't see the we didn't see this the examples about who's so we are going to do that first. We're just going to read them and then we're going to move on. We're going to work today, which is who. Okay. So can everyone see the slide? Can everyone yes, see the slide? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, Katya, help me reading the first two, Katya. Okay, teacher. Whose shoe, is, whose shoe is this? Okay. Whose shoes are these? Okay, thank you very much. Melvin, do you have a... Thank you. Melvin? Yes. Do you have a question? Okay, let's go. Whose glass are those? Glasses. Glasses. Glasses mm -hmm. are those. Mm -hmm. Whose book is this? Thank you very much, Melvin. Elva. With the next one, Elva. Whose wallet is this? Thank you. Whose motorcycle is down? Okay. Now, Elmer, can you help me with the next one? Whose shoes are these? Okay. Whose car is parked over there? Parked with T, parked over there. Okay. Now, this is the one that we're going to be focused on today, guys. And as you can see, today we are going to see uh, the variety that we have with the WH question, how? Because we have a variety. When we put some words together with how, it changes drastically the meaning of that. So, but in general, when we only use how, it says that when we use it, it's because we want to know about the way that something is done. Or we also want to know about the condition of something or the degree of something. So as you can see, this how is very, very complex. So we have a lot of things with this one. And uh, for example, we have one example there that says, how was your vacation? When I ask that is because I want to know the way that happened or what do you, did you do in that, in that thing? So that's, we want to know the way that something is done. So when we say, how was your vacation? It was great, but that's just for the general part. In the general part, we're going to use how in a very different areas. So now let's see how is that going to happen? Okay, here we have it. When we have, cuando agregamos how plus adjective or adverb, and when we say how far, when we ask that question, how far? We are talking about the distance, the distance about something. So when someone asks you, how far are you from the center of San Salvador? How far are you from the center of San Salvador? This person it wants to know the, about your distance. So we have some examples right there. As it says, how far is Patea from Bangkok? So every single time that we someone asks you about that is because they want to know your distance. Now, let me see. Uh, if I ask you that question, Arabin, how far are you from San Salvador? How would you respond or how would you answer to that question? No, that far. I, I live in San Salvador. Okay, not that far. We can say not that far, not tan lejos, to say not tan lejos. 
But let's imagine, let's imagine that you are, for example, in San Miguel, that you live in San Miguel, and someone asks you, how far are you from San Miguel? What would you say, Arabin? Uh, I live, uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, Elmer. It's, it's okay, Arabin. Elmer, do you have any idea? Let's imagine, let's imagine that we live in San Miguel. And, I'm, and that I'm going to ask you this question. How far are you from San Salvador? Let's imagine that you are in San Miguel right now. What would you answer if I ask you that question to you? Mm, San Salvador is very far. San Salvador is very far. Okay, that was that was that was something. But let's see, William. If I ask you the same question, William, if I ask you, let's imagine once again that we are in San Miguel and I'm going to ask you, how far are you from San Salvador? Let's imagine that you're in San Miguel. What would you say to that question? Uh, uh, um, Se podría decir San Salvador para decir desde mm -hmm. Sainz. No, from? Eh, from, from San Salvador eh, to the San Miguel. There, there are eh, 2,000. Eh, 2040 kilómetros, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Kilómetros. Kilómetros aproximadamente. Ok, now let me see. The same question. 96 kilómetros. Say that again. Say that again. Who said that? 100. 96 kilometers. Okay, let me see. Thank you very much, Mayra. Let me see. How far are you from? Now, I'm going to write a question in the chat. And I need everyone to give me an answer to that question. Everyone. Let's suppose that everyone is right now in Santa Ana, that we are all in Santa Ana, and I'm asking you, how far are you from San Miguel? So let's see, what would you say to that? Write or type your answer on the chat. I can see Melby. I am near to San Miguel. I live in Gotera. Oh, so you are pretty close. I live 200 miles from San Miguel. I live in Santa Ana. Okay. There are many kilometers from Santa Ana to San Miguel. Okay, those are really good answers. Okay, I'm really far from San Miguel because I live in Santana. Okay, that was a good one, Ingrid. I live in San Salvador, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, you still have to give me more context because when you say I live in San Salvador, it's like if I'm asking you, where do you live? Know how far? I am one hour away. That's good, Mayra. Um, I am one hour away, okay? What about the other ones? We are 25 on the call and I just received, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I just received six. What about the others? Uh, 
I live in Cincinnati, far away to San Salvador. Okay, I am so far from San Vicente. I'm so far from San Vicente. I live three hours off there. Okay, I live 100 kilometers. Okay. All right, so thank you very much for those. I live in San Marcos, it's very far to San Miguel, Cecilia, okay. All right, thanks for the ones that participated there. And let me tell you guys that some of you were correct, some of you were not. Why? Because when you said I leave or uh, unless you say kilometers or something like that, that will be good. But if you just say I live in somewhere, it's like if I'm asking you, where do you live? Every single time when someone asks you about how far, they want to know the distance. So when we talk about distance, we can say three hours away, two hours away, seven kilometers away, two miles away, seven blocks away, a, what, five hours away, or things like that. But we can never mention the place where we live. Nunca podemos mencionar el lugar de donde vivimos. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no podemos decir I live, blah, blah, blah? Porque entonces es como que si yo le estoy preguntando a usted, where do you live? Y yo le estoy preguntando, how far, no, where do you live? So we have to be a little bit careful there. If not, we are going to get confused. Now, is there any question? I alguna pregunta with so far? So far. No questions at all. Es como, es como que nos pregunten uh, a qué distancia vives de San Miguel o, o qué tan lejos vives de San Miguel. Exactly. When someone... Ser, uh, a 30 minutos, a dos horas. Exactly. Es como en español, si, en, si ah, okay. la pregunta es qué tan lejos sí. o qué distancia, usted no va a decir yo vivo. Le están preguntando qué distancia, no yo vivo. Ok. Entonces solo se tiene teacher. que poner okay. teacher... Eh, a dos horas de distancia o a tantos kilómetros only. Yeah, you can, podemos utilizar todo tipo. Kilómetros, horas, millas, bloques, cuadras, todo aquello que implique una distancia, pero jamás mencionar nuestro lugar de donde vivimos, porque no le están preguntando dónde vive, no le están diciendo where do you live, le están preguntando how far are you, ¿Qué tan lejos estás? Okay. Teacher, could be, for example, I live two hours away. I live oh, two hours. Live... En, ese, en ese ejemplo, sí, porque yo estoy diciendo que yo vivo, pero no lo estoy diciendo el lugar, sino que yo vivo dos horas separadas del lugar que me están preguntando. So that in that case, it's well used. En ese caso, teacher, sí es bien I utilizado. Teacher, también eh, así. I live 14 kilometers de San Miguel. That in that case, I live five kilometers from San Miguel. That's perfect. In ese caso, sí, porque seguimos usando las medidas o okay. distancia. Sí. Okay. All right. Teacher, for example, I ask. Salvador and two or at San Miguel. Uh, I'm sorry. Say that again. I am San Salvador at two or at San Miguel. Uh, no, it's like, no, no. In that case, you can say, I am two hours away. Estoy dos horas lejos. Uh, or two hours uh, away from San Miguel. Uh, Here I've been. Were you going to say something? Yes. For example, I add more, more information in my, in my answer. I said, uh, I live 200 miles uh, away, mm -hmm. uh, I live in Santa Ana, but it is not correct to, to add that information. I mean, it, I'm, I'm not saying that it's not correct, but first what you have to do is to give me the distance and after you gave me the distance 
of course you can add something else, but you can start your answer with the place you live because you have to start your answer with the distance, not with the path. So you can, of course, say I live 42 kilometers away from San Miguel because I live in Santa Ana. But notice there, si se fijaron ahí, primero di la distancia y después expliqué por qué. Y ahí sí mencioné por qué vivo en Santa Ana. ¿sí? Lo, a lo que nos referimos es, si la están preguntando la distancia, lo primero que va a responder es la distancia. Y luego puede agregar un contexto más. That's what I'm trying to say. Ok, thank you, teacher. All right. So if there's no any other question we how far, we are going to move on to how long. How long, okay? How long. When we, want, when we ask the question, cuando alguien le pregunta how long, is they want to say cuánto tiempo, eh, refiriéndonos a tiempo o espacio, cuánto te llevará. It's how long is going to take the exam. For example, si yo le pregunto a alguien, let me, let me see. Vamos a ver. Si yo les pregunto a todos, how long is going to take the class? How long is going to take the class? ¿Qué me responderían? It is going to take an hour. It is going to take an hour. Because we're talking about time. Ahí estamos pidiendo tiempo o es... Okay. Thank you very much. Let me maybe, see. Maybe, maybe uh -huh. about one hour. About one hour too, because we're still talking about time. Thank you very much. All right. So I think that that one is pretty easy. Es un poco más fácil. So is there any question or si estamos claros? Are we clear on that information? Clear, teacher. Clear. Perfect. Let me see. It takes me one hour. Okay, yeah, that's perfect, Mayra. If someone asks you how long will the class take, or it takes me one hour, that's another possibility to, to say. All right, so we're going to move on to the next one, which is how many. I'm pretty sure that you already know that because you already saw where you probably know how we use how many. How many we use it for Cantidad, quantity, when we want to know how many things or, but remember that we use how many para cosas contables. Es decir, si yo le pregunto, ¿cuánto conocimiento tienes? ¿Podría utilizar how many? No, no teacher. Um, of course no, no. not. I won't be able to use it because conocimiento es incontable. So, para algo incontable, yo voy a utilizar how much. much. So, if I ask you, how much do you love me? How much do you love me? Is that correct? Or is it correct if I say that? It's correct. Yeah. Why? Why is correct? Why not how many do you love me? No yeah, we cannot count the feelings. So what I need you to understand is that we are going to use how many for countable things and how much for uncountable things. For example, if I if I tell you, uh, how many hours do you work? Is that correct? How many hours do you work? Yes. Now, yes. can you tell I me? I work a lot of work. I work a lot of hours. Okay, that's that's a good answer. Now, if I ask you, how many money do you have? It is correct. It is correct. Why do you think so? How many? Uh, because I can count my money? No. How many money do you have? 
Can I say that? Yes or no? no yes, I have hundred dollars, for example. I think so. In this case, is, is possible how much money those in the in the backpack or or lo que sea? Porque si es cuantificable, sería más. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a situation eso es uno de los errores más comunes cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés en In English guys evidentemente nosotros pensamos en español muchas veces and that's the problem y ese es el problema why? en español si usted me dice ¿cuánto dinero tenés? automáticamente yo sé que eso es contable. ¿Por qué? Me está preguntando cuánto dinero. Yo vengo a 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on, and so on. But in English, en inglés, aunque yo estoy hablando de dinero y yo sé que en español yo lo puedo contar, en English, dinero es incontable. Aunque yo diga 100 dólares. But English is like that. So, no puedo decir how many money do you have. That's not possible. So, I'm going to say how much money do you have. Aunque yo le vaya a responder con I have a hundred dollars. Nuestra lógica de español nos diría eso es incorrecto. ¿Por qué lo estás diciendo así si es incorrecto? But no. Ese es el problema. Dejar de pensar en español. Ok. That's the, that's the main thing. We have to start, like, try to, try to think in English. I know it's going to be a little bit difficult. But it is possible. No hay nada imposible. Nothing is impossible. You can do it. I trust you. See? You just have to believe in yourself and try to practice, try to do a lot of things, try to... If you're going to get something, try to uh, remember how do we say it in English and so on and so on. So in that way, you will be practicing. So is there any questions so far? So far, so good? Todo bien hasta el momento? Teacher, is there uh, any other rule or just for money? I mean, that, that, that's, not, that's not a rule exactly arriving. That's just part of the uncountable nouns. There are some others, of course, si hay más, but el tema de los countable and uncountable nouns, ya vamos a llegar a eso, okay? So when we get there, cuando lleguemos ahí, se van a dar cuenta de todas las diferencias que tenemos en inglés, okay? Thank you. Of course, there's some more. There's some more like money. Okay, so any other question? Alguna otra pregunta? Are we okay? Is it clear? Clear as the water. Clear, teacher. Okay. Yes. All right, so now we're going to move on to the next one, which is how old? How old? ¿Cómo le preguntamos a alguien cuántos años tiene? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Por favor, nunca vayan a decir how many years do you have, ¿no? Hay algunos que traducen literalmente, por eso le digo, nunca utilice traductor, nunca piense traducir literalmente. Is that's the reason why we have to know how to say things in English. So every single time that we want to know about someone's age, we are going to say, how old are you? How old is he? How old is she? And so on and so on. So when that person or, or someone asked us, how old are you? What do we say? What's the answer that we give to that? She's 42 years old. I am. She's 20 years old. That's perfect. So another thing, just, just as a matter of reminder, solo para recordarles, never ever, please, use the verb have. Nunca utilizar el verbo have, even though we know, of course, that the verb have means tener, right? 
because that's a very common mistake. So when we say our age, we will have to use the verb be, even though the verb be uh, means ser o estar. But in English, that's another part of the English language. So we have to say it in that way, okay? So now, uh, that one I consider that is really easy. So we are not going to take that long in that part. So in, in the next one, which is how come, how come this one, we are going to use it when we want to know the reason when we're asking why. What, why is that very, that's informal. Cuando decimos how come, es como que estemos preguntando like, ¿Cómo es posible? How come? ¿Cómo es posible? But that is informal. Sí, es informal. So you could say, you could use why if you want to say eh, por qué. But how come, I mean, it's informal, but still people around like, in United States or any other country where they speak English, they usually use that word. So it's it's good that if you know it, even though it is informal, okay? So we have an example there, which it says, how come I can see her? How, how come I can see her? ¿Cómo es posible que no puedo verla? How come I can see her, okay? So as you, as you can see there, we're using how come, so that, that's a little bit informal. So we finish with this part right now. With all the things that we just saw in this chart, is there any question, guys? Does any one of you didn't understand what we say here? Are we clear? Yes, teacher. Now, Boris, help me reading the examples. Todos los ejemplos. Help me read them all. Okay. How far is Pattaya from Bangkok? Mm -hmm. How long will it take? How many cars are there? Mm -hmm. How much money do you have? How old are you? Mm -hmm. How come I can see her? Elmer, do the same do the same thing, please. Can you do the same thing, please? Um, it's, uh, we for, were for, I mean, just to read the examples, read them. I understand, teacher, I'm sorry. No, you just have to read the examples that we have here. Ah, okay. Read them. The, the read, okay. Uh -huh. How far is Pattaya from Bangkok? Mm -hmm. How long will it take? Okay. How many cars are there? Remember intonation, please. How much money do you have? Okay. How old are you? Okay. How, how can I can see her? Anna Noemi, do the same thing, please. Okay. How far is Pataya from Bangkok? How long will it take? How many mm -hmm. cars are there? How much mm -hmm. money do you have? Mm -hmm. how, how are you? Uh, mm -hmm. How come I can see her? Katya, do the same thing, please. Okay, teacher. How far is Pattaya from Bangkok? How long will it take? How many cars are there? How much money do you have? Mm -hmm. How are you? How come I can see her? Arabin, do the same thing, please. How far is Pattaya from Bangkok? How long will it take? How many cars are there? How much money do you have? How old are you? How, how come I can't see her? 
That's a good intonation right there. Thank you very much. Carlos, go ahead. Carlos Regalado. Okay. How far is Pattaya from Bangkok? How long will it take? How many cars are there? Okay, Carlos, uh, just give me a brief moment. We do not say how, we say how. How, how. Okay. Mm -hmm. how much money do you have? How, how old are you? Mm -hmm. How come I can see her? Thank you very much. Iris Regina, do the same thing. We, we cannot listen to you, Iris. You have your microphone off. How far in, Papa, in Pattaya from Balcon? Mm -hmm. How long will it take? How many cars are there? Okay. How much money do you have? Mm -hmm. How old are you? Okay. How come I can see you here? That was a good intonation, Iris. Thank you very much. Ingrid Jamilet, let's do the same thing. How far is Pattaya from Bangkok? How long will it take? How many cars are there? How much money do you have? Mm -hmm. How old are you? How come I can see her? That was really good. Thank you very much. Cecilia Hernandez, can you please do the same thing? How far is Pattaya from Bangkok? How long will it take? How many cars are there? How much money do you have? How old are you? How come I can't see her? Thank you very much. Thank you, Cecilia. I can notice, guys, puedo notar que algunos de ustedes sí me están trabajando la intonation, pero algunos otros no se les escucha. Es como que solo me están leyendo un párrafo. So I cannot listen to a question. Mayra, let's see. How, how far is Pattaya from Bangkok? Mm -hmm. How long will it take? Okay. How many cars are there? How much money do you have? How old are you? Okay. How come I can see her? That was good, Mayra. Thank you very much. William. How far is Pattaya from Bangkok? Mm -hmm. How long will it take? How many cars are there? Okay. How much money do you have? Mm -hmm. How old are you? How come I can see her? Thank you. That was also a good intonation. Just, uh, I heard that you mispronounced. We don't say have, we say have. And this one here, we say have. Now, Maritza, Maritza Isabel. Jessica. How far is Pattaya from Bangkok? How long will it take? Mm -hmm. How many cars are there? How much money do you have? How old are you? How come I can see her? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now, the last thing that we're going to do, guys, is that I will give you two minutes, last two minutes that we have, los últimos dos minutos, para que ustedes escriban su respuesta on the chat de las cuatro preguntas que tenemos acá. ¿Qué es lo que necesito? Únicamente que elija cuál es la respuesta correcta and you type it on the chat. That's it. And I will check later on. See, we have two minutes to do so. Let's do it. Okay, I receive already Martin and William. Maritza already, Nidia already, Melvin with number two already. Okay. Maritza with number two, I guess. Are 
or number one, okay. Melvin with number three, okay. Maritza with number three, two. William with number four. Melvin, number four. Elmer, one, two, three, four. Okay. Ingrid, two. Thank you very much. William, number three. Arabian, number two. Okay. Maritza, number four. All right. Cecilia Hernandez, thank you very much, Cecilia. Iris Regina, thank you. I can see yours too. I can see Carmen. Daisy too. Arriving with number three. And Alberto. Okay, Alberto Enrique, I can see it. Ana with number three too. Okay, now the last thing that we're going to do, I need a volunteer, volunteer. I need a volunteer, just one. Elmer, thank you very much, Elmer. So Elmer, what about number one? Read the whole, the whole question. Necesito que me, lea, le me leas la respuesta, la pregunta y la respuesta completa. Number one, let's go. Where are the keys? Keys. Where are the keys? They are outside, outside now. Thank you very much. Now I can see... Uh, Cecilia Hernandez, let's help me with number two, please. Why is the baby in bed? Because he is very tired. Thank you very much, Cecilia. Now, William, number three. When is the test on Friday? Okay. Thank you. And the last one, Anna Noemi. How much are the orange? Two dollars a kilo. Oranges. We say oranges because we have a plural. Orange. Oranges with the S. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Now uh, that's gonna be all for today, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much for participating today. Today, like pretty much everyone participated. I saw a lot of people uh, there. That's something very very nice from your part today. So remember, this is the only Friday when we are going to have classes. Next week, we are going to have classes from Monday through Thursday, okay? It was just this week that because we started classes on Tuesday, that's the reason why we had class today. Another thing, guys, today tenemos hasta las 12 de la noche para poder terminar los ejercicios, ¿sí? Se va a tener calibrado a esa hora. Si usted no las ha terminado, se le va a enviar un reporte y le van a estar hablando de anu. Ok. So try to work on the exercises, please. Remember that at the end of the module, you have to reach a 80%, at least 80% for you to go or for you to be able to go to the next module. Ok. So if there's no any other question, guys, that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for attending to the class and I hope that you have a nice weekend. Ok. Take care of yourselves and see you on Monday. Thank you, you too. Thank you, see you Monday. Good night. 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 Good night.